Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video was going to be a guinea pig vlog. Basically, I'm going to be showing you and talking to you about my guinea pigs' food, bedding, hay, their cage, some of their favorite treats and favorite foods that they like, and a bunch of other things. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to go get their food, hay, and bedding. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the food I use. It's by Brown's Tropical Carnival Gourmet Food. It is food and treat all in one um, with high fiber alfalfa and Timothy Hay pellet blend. So there's there's pellets in there and I know some like a lot of people say not to use this kind of food. They love this food, they absolutely love it. I'm, I'm kind of scared to change it because I don't want, want them to have any ill effects. But I've also been thinking about maybe getting like a separate bag of just plain pellets and that way giving them like a little dish of pellets as well. That, that way they have, like, extra extra vitamin C, extra nutrients. Um, it comes with these little vital, um, like, vitamin biscuits. I don't know if they eat them. Um, I've tried to get, hand feed them to them, and they don't like them out of my hands. So, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, they love it. It has fruits, veggies, and seeds, and, of course, pellets. Um, they love it. And, I, again, I know um, some guinea pig lovers, some guinea pig owners will not approve on this kind of food, and that's totally okay. Um, I'm not going to explain myself any further, but um, yeah. So next we have their hay. I'm using this brand called Full Cheeks Timothy Hay. They love this stuff. And then I also have this big bag of grass or hay that I got from like this farm. Oh my gosh, you guys, they absolutely love it. It's natural. It's cheaper. It's They love it. Here, you know what? I'm going to show you. We're gonna walk over here. Hopefully you can't hear anyone talking out front outside. So here it is, it's right here. This is the grass I'm talking about. They love this stuff, they love it. Anyway, don't mind my messy hallway. Um, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, I've been using that. Um, also, I, I have switched, um, I've used like Western Timothy hay. I've used all kinds of hay. They just prefer this one. They love that other one I just showed you. So, yeah. And then for bedding, I've also been using Full Cheeks brand. Pine bedding, all natural scent, low dust. Um, they love it, actually. I love it, too. It's so soft. It does get messy, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, and then also for bedding, speaking of bedding, <laughs> I got them in the winter. I got these little fluffy blankets. They're dog blankets, but... They're so soft because they're so cold and it's like my heater down there was not working for the longest time. So it's like I can I'm OK with it. But them I was so worried about. So I got them these blankets. This is just one of them. Um, and I put them in there and they like made their own little bit out of it. They loved it. And then I got these pee pads. And what I use these for is when I clean their cage out, I put these in my bathroom and I have like another cage, the old cage that I had for them. Um, I have that like I have like the metal frame part for it. So I put that down in the in my bathroom I put a couple of these down too um, and I have their toys and everything set up and all that so yeah I've been using these puppy pee pads um, these are from the dollar store I usually get myself get yeah, myself I usually get all their things from either the dollar store but like when it comes to food and bedding and all that and hey I get that from PetSmart um, today I got two new water bottles I'll show you those I got them these ones look how cute these are they come with a little duck so it tells you when you have to refill it, which is kind of cool. And it's by the brand Katie, which is really funny and cool because our first dog's name was Katie, but we spelled it K-A-T-I-E. Um, yes. Are they in there? They're, yes. They're hiding. Oh, and someone likes her new water bottle. <laughs> yes. This is the other one that I was talking about. Little ducky. There's Olivia and Meredith. Um... But yeah, I'm going to show you their toys now. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. So the first thing is this is a little tunnel thing. They love this tunnel. Like, they absolutely love it. I saw a girl on this guinea pig Facebook group I'm on. She had the same thing. And then another one, this is another toy they have. They don't really like it as much. It's this tent. They don't like it as much. They just chew it. They, like, knock it over. I saw a girl who had a setup, and she had the same tent for their guinea pigs. So... Yeah, there's that. Um, they're not really a fan of it. I got these two things on Amazon. And then this is their hut. I haven't put it back in since the last time I cleaned it. That's their little house. 
My niece Harley picked it out when I first got my guinea pigs. Or my, my first guinea pig. This is the first one I got, I think. Was it the first one? No, the second one I got. But they're a bit small for it now. But they still love, like, climbing on it and playing with it. Um, but, yeah, there's that little hideout. They love hideouts. That's, like, a number one recommendation for guinea pigs is to have, like, a little house, a little hideout. Because they do like to hide and feel safe. So, that's important. And then, last but not least, I have this little spinny wheel. Now, when I first got Meredith, I was told never, ever use a ball. It's bad for their backs, bad for their spines. Although, Lady was really rude about it. Like, she kept snapping and snarling at me. But it's, like, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm kind of new at this. Like, well, not new. I had... I should say I'm new. My first guinea pig what I had when I was 9 or 10. Her name was Samantha. Um, and she loved that ball. She, I had a ball for her, like a big clear ball. And I put her in there. She loved it. She went up and down the halls, under the kitchen table. She loved that thing. But that, keep in mind, I was 9 or 10. I was a little kid. I didn't know anything about guinea pigs. I mean, I did. My mom made me get books out of the library and read about them. But anyway. Um, yeah, so anyway, I got this instead. They, they don't like it. They just they pee on it. They poo on it. They chew it. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about either getting rid of this or selling it. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I think it's cool. My nieces and nephews like to play with it. But, um, or like, you know, try to make them play with it. But yeah, those are what I have for toys. Um, and then I'll show you a bunch of like random other things I have. So let's go over here. So this is the guinea pig bin. I have a random bin. I use this for the bedding to collect it. Um, I have some white, like baby wipes to help like, clean I'll show you like clean this part of the cage the top platform because it does get like pee and stuff on it so I like to clean that so I have a bunch of baby wipes in here uh, this is wheels for the cage don't know why I has I mean, the pet smart box that I brought Olivia home in a hanger that is not part of the guinea pig stuff but okay Okay, so the thing about the cage is the cage is actually a rabbit cage. So this is for like hay. This is a hay holder. I haven't figured out how to use that. Um, I don't know if I will. It is like I kind of keep it just for backup. This is the rabbit food dish bowl. Um, I find it's too big for them. I currently have a green one in there. I'll show you. Um, extra water bottle. This one was leaking, so I had to take it out. Like take it out. So that's that. I have a little dust pan, dust duster. Little broom, mini broom handle. This is a poop scoop for, like, a cat litter box. But I use it for the guinea pig cage sometimes. I haven't really used it much. Um, a random glove I used to use to clean the cage with. And then this little blue measuring spoon. Um, I used to, like, measure. When I when I had Mer- or, yeah, when I first had Meredith, I'd use this to measure. I was so paranoid. I wanted to do everything right. But you know what? You just gotta find what works best for you guys, you know? You do you... And, uh, yeah, this is for a, oh, that was for that green thing in there. Here, I'll show you. That, this, was for this hay holder. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, I will show you their cage now. Um, this is a cage. Don't mind it, it's messing on top. Um, but, yeah, they love this cage. I know it's a little, maybe, maybe it's too big. I don't know. They love it, though. They love the going up and down the ramp, the platforms. So, that's their dish that I have. It's green. Um... That's her food bowl. This is their main water dip, like water bottle, but it's kind of small and there's two of them. So I wanted to get them like more water bottles. Um, but yeah, that's the new toy I got them. It's like this tube thing they can chew on and play in. This stuff they can nest around and snuggle in. I don't know if they've been in there yet, but um, yeah, and then their food dish. And then over here is like a, they barely touched it. I don't think they like these very much, but I mean, Meredith did, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm talking about you guys. Look, there's Meredith. There she is. But, uh, yeah, I hope this food dish, if, if there's any guinea pig people on here or anything, um, I hope this dish is okay. Like, they seem to like it. They love it. They even play with, like, their water bottles, or, like, or that water bottle especially, because I just got the two new ones today. But that one, they'll, like, knock over. They'll throw it. They'll throw it in the air. <laughs> Same with the food dish. I'll, I'll, I'll give them the food dish, and then they'll eat the food, knock it over, and then throw that around. They'll drag that water bottle from that corner under that, like under there, to under there somewhere. It's it's insane. But they they keep me busy and on my toes, my girls. The fluffy one is Olivia, and the other one is well Meredith, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's like basically it. Um, again, the food I use totally optional. The the hay you use totally optional. The bedding. 
Um, it's not the cleanest in here. Although, I just cleaned it a week ago. But, you know, there's two of them. They make, they do pee and poop a lot. So, um... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to do this vlog. It seemed fun. And I'm having fun. And they're just like, what's going on, Mom? There you go. They're so cute. <laughs> Um, they love curling up and lying, like, side by side, like, one here, one over there, or something. The first time I saw them do that, you guys, it freaked me out, because I'm like, oh my god, are they dead? <laughs> because when I had my first guinea pig, and she was lying down like that, she was actually dead. My brother found her. It was very sad. Um, but anyway, I'm older now, so I'm obviously gonna handle it better, but, um, I mean, it's still gonna be sad when I go. Anyway, I'm not talking about that. I don't want to talk about those moments. I don't want to talk about that day ever. So anyway, um, yeah, everything I've said is totally optional. My personal preference, my personal opinion, type thing. Um, I'm thinking about switching to maybe like a fleece bedding. They have like reusable beddings, like cloth beddings, fleece beddings. Um, because A, it might be softer for them, and B, it might last longer because it's like, I feel like, okay, I know a lot of girls, like a lot of people on my on the Facebook post I made on my guinea pig group, um, they recommended like doing it every week, once or twice a week. But it's like, I feel like that's too soon. Like, it's like, they should, it should be able to last longer than that, you know? But again, they must have more than just two guinea pigs. Um, but one person said it doesn't matter how many guinea pigs you have, that you should do that way. Um, but again, you know, when it comes to guinea pigs and the care of your pet, not even guinea pigs, it's up to you, you know? Whatever works for your pet, you know? Whatever works for you, whatever, you know? It's like, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Obviously, if it's, what's best for a guinea pig, you know, for example, for this case, what is best for them? Well, they love their hay, they love their toys, they love their food, they love their grass, they love everything, right? Look at her looking at me. Look at her. <laughs> okay, should we tell them your guys' favorite foods? Other uh, foods you like? Okay, guys, so number, so number one, they love watermelon. Number two, pretzel sprouts. Number three, um, number three, they like apples, but no, number one has got to be carrots, and then watermelon, and then apples. Um, they have tried pumpkin, like, their first time, like, back in October for Thanksgiving. Um, not really a fan. They weren't really a fan of it. Um, I think Meredith liked it a bit more than Olivia, or was it the other way around? I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, that was new. I don't get them much in the way of Brussels sprouts. I get them, like, a little leaf. I have given them, like, half of a Brussels sprout, but, like, a small, small one. Um, because they, I don't want them to get too gassy. They haven't been gassy. Like, if they have been, I've never smelled it. Hello. Gonna kiss me? See, this one tries. Meredith gives kisses and licks. Ma Olivia over here, she tries, but her kisses end up being nibbles and, or bites. Little bites. But they're, they're not painful or anything. But, uh, anyway... What else do they like in food? They like fresh grass, like, from, like, back in the summer when, I, when I've taken them outdoors and let them run around, sort of. Um, I, I do have, like, a fenced-in area, so it's okay. Um, they, they love eating the grass out there. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yes, this video is a bit longer, but, again, I'm talking a lot about guinea pigs and mine in general. So, um, yeah, they love this ramp. They love it. Um, and they love their water bottles. But, uh, yeah, what else? Like, what, what? I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> they, they're just really happy. Um, they've been really good guinea pigs. They, they, they bring comfort and happiness and joy. Hello. Yes. Are you gonna jump down? You be careful. They do, like, jump up and down on this platform. They don't even use the ramp half the time. Oh, well, she did. Good job. Show off. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, they're really fun. Guinea pigs make good house pets. Um, again, you have to be responsible, mature, you have to, I mean, I'm not saying kids can't own them, I was a kid when I had my first guinea pig, but I had adult supervision, you know, obviously I had my parents helping me and stuff, um, my dad actually helps me, my dad, uh oh, you itchy? <laughs> Are you chewing your paw? That's a Tessa thing, Tessa does that, Tessa, our dog Tessa will chew her, bla her back paws, and now Olivia's doing it, why? Does your granddad have to cut your nails again? Yes, my dad cuts their nails. I'm not ashamed. I love it. And he does such a good job. Um, and it's free. Because if you took these two to the vet, it'd be like $75, $80. It's like, seriously? I could do it for free. And my dad does a good job. So, And he also does test his nails as well. So, again, a lot. Of, some people may not agree with that. But, oh my. 
shaking. But, um, I really don't care. You know, it's what works for us. You know, my family and my, my pets and whatever. Um, the first time they've yawned. I've seen it on videos. It's Meredith. I've, I haven't seen Olivia yawn yet. I've seen Mer... Mer... I can't talk. I'm sorry. I've seen Meredith yawn, like, two or three times. And the first time she did it, it freaked me out. I'm like, oh, my God. So their mouth opened. Like, it's just... It was so weird how they yawned. I'm not saying she's weird. I'm just saying, in general, the yawn was weird to witness. Anyway. Um... This is like a rabbit cage. It was a bit bigger than I expected or wanted, but I'm glad I got it because they love it. So you know what? They love it. It is a bit big. I don't know if I should have it on here, um, but it's like the only space in my house right now. But this summer, I'm going, I might do what I did last year, which move them downstairs into the living room because it's a lot cooler down there than it is up here during, during the summer. Now, I don't have a fan in here yet because mine broke last summer. So anyway, I will see you shortly. All right, guys, let's talk about their beddings and or their beddings, their cage and the, and basically my routine. So um, I usually do it like on a Sunday. That's just what works best for me because I usually see my boyfriend on Saturdays. Um, so I do it on Sundays, every other Sunday. So I know every two Sundays, if that makes sense. So I'll do it on a Sunday and then I'll wait two Sundays. And on the second Sunday, I do it again, um, unless I've been sick like I was last week. Um and my dad had to help me clean the cage, which was nice. I actually paid him for it. He didn't want it, but I'm like, no, please. I insist. Like, you, you have no idea how much this means to me. Like, I've been the one cleaning their cage all along. Like, since I've had Meredith, I've been cleaning their cage all by myself. So, um, and my dad sometimes helps. My dad likes to come in here and, like, sweep my floor for me. And, again, like I said before, he likes to cut their nails. Um, and he does a good job. And it's free. <laughs> Why spend 75 bucks when you can do it for free? Um... But yeah, he's careful. Do not worry. I hope no one gives me hate on that. He's very careful. And I help, obviously. I get them treats. I, you know, I hold them. You know, I make them feel safe and secure. So they are fine. Don't worry. They are happy, healthy, go lucky there. They are, what's that word? They are in good hands. Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, I use that bedding that I showed you. But I've been thinking about switching to like a fleece blanket. I don't know why I'm doing that. Whatever. Um, and it goes in the cage. It's washable, reusable, all that stuff, which is kind of neat. It's like a reusable pad. I, again, why am I talking about periods? We don't know. As you guys know, I love talking about periods as well. Guinea pigs, periods, girl talk, all that stuff. I'm trying to keep it just guinea pigs in this video, but I guess some period talk's coming out. But, you know, it's mostly all guinea pig. It's 95% guinea pig talk. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm looking for one of, like, a, I'm looking for a usable, um, like, a fleece liner. And I'll also sprinkle some bedding in there because they, they love that bedding. But I feel like it would save a lot on bedding because the bedding will last me longer. Um, and it won't smell as much. And I'll get to, you know, I like that idea because I'll be cleaning the cage up more frequently, which is good. But also I'll be spending more time with my guinea pigs. Not that I don't. I do. I try my very best. I work. Um, half days, four hour days, four hour shifts. So when I come home, I kind of come up here, check on them, give them water, food, hay, all that stuff. Um, and then when I take them out to clean their cage, I put them in my bathroom, like I mentioned earlier, and I have those pee pads down and, or pads down, whatever you want to call them. And pad talk, there you go. The word pad again. I wasn't even trying there to talk about periods, but it just slipped. Anyway. <laughs> um, and so I put them in there. I put their like little, that little tunnel toy I showed you, um, a water bottle, um, some food, some hay, you know, um, and they sit in my bathroom and chill. It's easier than going all the way downstairs with them, up and down. Um, they, and they love it in there. They chill. Um, and yeah, that's kind of like my cleaning routine. Um, I might do a vlog on that. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did it again. I am so sorry, guys. It slipped. Anyway, um, I apologize for how long this video is, but, um, yeah, I've been really wanting to do this kind of video for a while now for you guys, so that's what I'm doing. I love the lighting. I don't know what it is, but the lighting just looks really good today, or like in my room right now. It just looks really good in this video. Anyway, um, yeah, they are good. They are in good hands, obviously. Obviously, they're in good hands. Psh. Anyway, um, yeah, my first guinea pig I had was Samantha. I had her when I was about nine or ten. We had her for four years or four and a half years, which is Interesting because we were told only four to six years. I got a four and a half with her. And it was the best four and a half years of my life. <laughs> she was such a guinea pig. She gave me such a great experience that it's like, I was so sad when she was gone. And then like, 
I've been wanting a guinea pig ever since again. And then I got Meredith. And then a year later, I got Olivia. And yeah, I, just, I love being a guinea pig mom. I should show you my guinea pig shirt. I have a guinea pig sh mom shirt here. I'll show you. Should we show them your shirt? It's like, Mom, you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so I actually had a friend of mine make this for me. Is that cute, guys? Oh, it's my guinea pig mom shirt. Um, are those guinea pigs supposed to be them? No. Um, I just wanted two guinea pigs because I have two guinea pigs. So that is my shirt. It's so cute. Um, I want to get like a little guinea pig photo shoot going with them, which would be kind of cool. But uh, yeah. I think that's it for this video, you guys. Um, I will do more guinea pig vlogs and talk more about them in the near future and in other future videos. So, yeah, I just wanted to just, I don't know, I wanted to do a video for you guys. I thought this would be fun. Um, if you have any suggestions or any comments or anything or you have any guinea pig questions or any period questions or any kind of questions at all, please feel free to drop them down below. Um, I love getting to know you guys um, and I love sharing some life, some of my life with you guys, I like sharing my guinea pig adventures with you guys, um, and all that stuff, eating my own hair, fun, all right, this has been an interesting video, <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching, thank you for, for taking the time to watch this video, um, and bearing with me through it all, um, if you've had to skip through some of it, that's okay, thank you, oh, not thank you, but, like, feel free to, I understand, I do tend to ramble a lot, I do talk a lot, I, I'm a big talker, um, I, you know, when people first meet me, I'm shy and quiet and anxious. But once you get to know me, it's like, she talks a lot. In a good way. Like, it's not like, I'm glad you talk so much. Like, do you ever shut up, Sarah? Like, no, no, it's never like that. It's like, you talk a lot. Like, you have a mouth on you. I'm like, I know. I get that from my dad. But no, it's okay. I love you, dad. <laughs> just so we're clear here, my parents don't watch my videos. They know I do YouTube, but they don't watch my videos. Which is probably a good thing, because I talk a lot about periods and girl stuff and just random stuff um but yeah anyway yeah i think that's enough talking for me today enough guinea pig talk um but yeah i just want to say once more that um some of you or not just you but like some people will not agree with again the things i do the things i've said about my guinea not about my guinea pigs but like the food like can't talk they're not gonna agree on the food they're not like I'm sorry, I can't talk. I should just stop talking. They're not going to... You know what? I'm just going to make this short as possible. They're not going to agree with some of the things and that I've said. And you know what? That's totally fine. It's my personal opinion. It's what I choose to do. It's what makes me and my piggies happy. It's what's best for them, you know? So, you know, that's all that matters, right? So, anyway, again, thank you so... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I need to end this video now. <laughs> I'm having so much mouth trouble. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll see you all next time. All right. Laters.